Hello and welcome to another x 11 video. Today we're in the uh, TOLUS A319. We're going to fly the first part of a British Airways American Airlines code share flying from uh, Zurich to London Heathrow and then changing to an American 777 and flying from Heathrow to DFW. Uh, this first leg is going to take us a little under two hours to fly. We're using X-Enviro 1.09S for the weather. So the clouds are probably going to leave a lot to be desired in certain situations and look pretty good in others. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at it, so I can't really remember how it works or how it looks. Um, I've been flying with the uh, X-Enviro 1.07 uh, instead. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and fly with 1.09 for this flight because I see these previews coming out on Facebook for X-Enviro 1.1, and I'm just... Uh, just really, really excited for that to finally come out whenever it does. Anyways, the plane is loaded. The route is loaded. Uh, we've just got to hop in the flight deck, program some performance data, turn on the APU, and get underway. So we'll go ahead and start by hopping down to the CDU. Uh, we'll put in a cost index of 30, a cruising altitude of flight level 360, and we are Speedbird 709. And on the second page, we will open up our ISCS screen, which gives us a zero fuel weight center of gravity of 28% and a zero fuel weight of 57.3 tons and a block fuel of 8.2 and on the flight plan page we will select our departure out of Zurich which will be off of runway 34 It will be the Victor Echo Bravo India 2 Hotel. Insert that. That's all good. We'll go ahead and put in an arrival for Heathrow just to have it done ahead of time. And it will be the Bravo India Golf 4 Bravo onto 9 left, it says. I'm just using a, I'm just using whatever Simbrief gives me uh, for the runway. So as, uh, as you guys have seen in my videos before. So this runway selection is not necessarily correct. It's just based on weather. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual preferred operations of the airport, but that's been fine with me, so that's why I do it that way. We will use flap one, and that gives us our perf data, performance data, so we will do one slash up 0 0.3 for the flaps, and the flex temp will be 64 degrees. And we will say 150 is the V1, and 150 is V2, and then 153. And that is us pretty well done. We'll change this to that screen for now. And we will start the APU. Tell our passengers to sit down. We'll take APU bleed. And we will go ahead and tell better pushback which direction we need to push back. And it is, oh my goodness, it is not loving the fog. I'm just going to kind of guess 
and say that that'll be good. Ground to carpet. Land acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. We will wait on the APU. We can go ahead and lose the dome light. Need to turn the screens up. I wish I need to play with their situation loads and make one that doesn't load with all the displays turned down because that's probably my biggest annoyance with this simulation. All right, the APU is up. We can lose external power. We can tell the uh, simulation control that we don't need external power. We'll go ahead and set 36,000 feet in the MCP. If I would cool it with the mouse there, we'd have no, prob no problem. And we will go ahead and start our pushback. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Take the beacon, which will cause the uh, scenery animation manager Sam Jetway at Zurich, the updated Aerosoft Zurich V2, to uh, get out of the way. If I had been in a different aircraft, we would have had both jetways connected. Um, unfortunately, we're flying to Heathrow, which does not have Sam implemented, so when we fly the 777 flight, we won't actually have a jetway connected at all. Because that's how that okay. Aerosoft London Heathrow all works. Doors and are closed. Ready to connect. Set. Parking brake. Parking brake is set. It's just better pushback doesn't know it. We'll go ahead and get a tiny bit ahead of the game here and start engine 2. And... We'll go ahead and take the transponder, which is not always the uh, not always what you do at European airports, but it's pretty typical at American airports, so I just kind of tend to do it. Let's see, well, let me hop over here and get the weather. And bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. Release the parking brake and the Stop Zurich the altimeter back. currently is 1015. And we'll start engine 1. Alright, we can go start selector to normal, we can arm the speed brakes, we can go to flap 1, we will set trim to up 0.3, which is somewhere around there. We will take terrain on the left, actually scratch that, we will take terrain on the left, the actual left. To taxi four three four, we will taxi down here, turn left on Foxtrot, and take that up there to the end of three four. Operation complete. 
Please set parking brake. This is the connecting tow. Stand by. As I mentioned, this is the updated uh, Airsoft Zurich V2, which has the SAM support on the jetways and such, and it is very nice to have. I have not arrived to it yet, but we'll give that a shot sometime here in the near future. We can take auto brake max. We can lose APU bleed and the APU itself. And we can take a taxi light. And hopefully, better pushback is just about done. Tell the cabin to go ahead and make sure they're ready for takeoff. And Tower is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. I'll see you next time and have a safe flight. All right. We uh, should wait on him to get out of the way, but I'm impatient, so we're going to go ahead and taxi over to 3-4. We'll take, I don't even know if this weather radar works, but we will take some some form of weather radar. And we will try and taxi at the same time. Take the next left onto Foxtrot. If you've got any questions about the scenery I'm using or what plugins I've got installed, uh, the specs of my computer, all that kind of stuff is in the video description, so feel free to check out some of those links. They may well have the answer to your question. They also may not. Uh, also, feel free to leave me uh, any comments with feedback or you know, really whatever you would like. That is what it's for. I think I'm, yep, here we go. That's correct. Very foggy in Zurich this morning. It's actually evening local time in real life. Or rather, it's night now. But we're gonna pretend it's early morning. And for the interest, in the interest of time, we'll go ahead and cut out the rest of taxi. But I'll be back when we are lining up on three four. All right, here we are at three four. Take the landing lights, wing lights, and strobe and turn offs. All the lights. We'll start the clock. Frame rate has become a disaster. Not sure what's going on with the lights there. Some sort of weird bug, but I'm willing to bet that that's a problem with X and Barra. Not sure. Anyway, we'll apply power. Engines look good. Flex.
Rotate. Come on. That's right, we'll bring the gear up. We'll follow the flight director. Hand it over to the autopilot. Bring thrust back to climb power. We're just about to fly protraction speed. We'll bring the flaps in. And that's us, off out of Zurich. Welcome back. It's time to get set up for our arrival into Heathrow. Go over to the performance page. The QNH in London at the moment is 1005. The temperature is 8 degrees. And the wind is 220 degrees at 9 knots, so we are going to change runways. Let's see. Throw. We will take the ILS on to 27 left, why not? And the approach that we were on is the Big Fort Bravo, which is still available. We'll say approach 27 left.
Let's see, no veal. We'll insert that. And we will go ahead and descend down to let's see, 2,500 feet. And we are going to start with an open descent and try and get back on profile. We will turn on the seatbelt signs. We'll take auto brake medium. And that is us set up for the approach. I'll come back when we're on final. Welcome back. We are fully configured and on final into London Heathrow, 27 left. Go ahead and tell the flight attendants to get in their chairs. Visibility is not the best. I don't remember what the missed approach altitude is, but I guess I could look. That would probably be a smart thing to do. 3,000.
500. All right, we will go ahead and disconnect the autopilot. Ah. Paused on the caution because I had it set to pause on top of descent, which incidentally is why we overflew top of descent. Line slope. Hundred above. Glide slope. One hundred. Minimum. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Retard. Retard. Ten. Five. That's not good. That's not good at all. So reversers and manual braking. Slide all over the place. And we will start the APU. And we will taxi over to Terminal 5 is where this flight arrives to. Bring the flaps in. Bring in the speed brakes. We can lose the landing lights and the strobe. And the wing lights and the turnoffs. Don't need the transponder anymore. One hour, 20 minutes, runway to runway. Not the best landing, but hey. It was actually... Xenviro 1.09 obviously is not the best looking thing. It does all sorts of weird artifacting all over the place. But, that said, uh, I did like how some of that stuff looked, and I... I really cannot wait for Xenviro 1.1. 1 .1. It sh it looks, based on the previews that are available out there on Facebook and whatnot, that it's going to be in a, a very, very good add-on. But we'll just have to see. We won't know until we have it. And I'm not really sure where I ought to park. Because I don't have good data for uh, which stands we would actually go to. We'll just go ahead and pick a spot, any spot. About five, let's see, 552. Let's go there. There's the taxi line. Ooh, way overshoot the line there. And we'll just kind of be guessing. Uh, on display on part of that approach was Orbix uh, Great Britain uh, South, which is beautiful. And I love it. We'll set the parking brake. We can lose engines one and two. And the weather radar should already be off. And the seatbelt sign can come off. And the 
beacon can come off. And that is us down in London. All right, this has been Speedbird uh, 709, I believe, or 7, yep, 709. Service from Zurich over to London Heathrow in the TOLUS A319. Uh, the next leg of this flight is going to be American 51, service to Dallas-Fort Worth in a 777-300ER. So that will be the next video that you all see on the channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We should have parked like a good 30 or eh, probably 30 feet behind where we did, but that's fine. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.